What's good, A and B fam? It's your girl Asia, and it's your boy BJ, and we back, back like, like we, we never, never left. left. You got caught with your hand <laughs> in the popcorn. <laughs> See, as soon as we started the intro, you got caught, you y'all. Just, she she got just caught. made me start it over, and then when, right when we started it over, she I had ate a mouthful of popcorn. <laughs> we caught her at the right time for you. We caught you at the wrong time, but it's okay. Tonight for movie night, we get in, into Harry Potter. And the Goblet of Fire. This is the next movie in the installment of Harry Potter. Yes. Uh, I'm definitely excited. I'm definitely, definitely excited to see where the story goes from uh, Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban. Me too. The last Harry Potter actually was was really fun to watch because they're getting older now. Mm -hmm. So now I can see why. Like I think, and I was reading in the comments like from the last movie, y'all were telling us that. As they got older, the the movies got better because they started growing up, obviously. Mm -hmm. So it, you know, it was more adult relatable, so gotcha. to speak, like because they started getting older. Okay. So I don't know. The last, like all of them actually, but the last one was my favorite one so far. Okay. And, and I had to tell y'all, okay, I got my Hogwarts. Hogwarts alumni. Hogwarts alumni yeah. blanket, okay, but. And the, and this I'm one excited. and and this one came out. Uh, a year later, after Prisoner of Oz, really? and Goblet of Fire. So, yeah, back to back. So, they, so, so they went back to back with this one right here for sure. Okay, okay. Well, it's fun to watch, like, especially when they have the same characters. They're fun to watch because you do really kind of get to see them grow up. And it's like, dang, he got tall and everything. Yeah, because this is going to be the next <laughs> one. So to see them in the next installment of Harry Potter, I think that's going to be really cool. Like yeah. you said, just seeing them kind of growing up and the growth from the very first Harry Potter that we watched. Yeah. And I was just telling BJ how when we read, um, what was it? Was that Universal we were at? Mm -hmm. I was telling BJ, y'all, I was like, that dang Harry Potter ride was so much fun. The one that we did with the, that you have to hold on like this. Mm -hmm. But, okay. I, you know. That one was dope. <laughs> that one was dope. It made it, me think about it. It was, the, it was the Hagrid ride. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, y'all. So, let me know in the comments down below if you had a chance to ride that ride, okay? And like, how bomb was it to you? Was, that was the fun, you, but, the funnest ride. But do you know, at Universal, they're actually increasing the, the Harry Potter land. It's going to be a lot bigger now. Really? Yeah, they're, they're going to actually make it bigger. I feel like it, it wasn't as big as it was the last time we went. So this time that we went, it was bigger. Like, there was more stuff, so they're I making it bigger. I think they might have added, they might have added another ride, but yeah. They're, they're going to make the Harry Potter section even bigger. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, y'all fill us in on that if you know some something about Some people filled us in on, in the comments, too, la yeah. the last movie, too. And you know, yeah. Universal Studios, if you out there, you know, if y'all watching this stuff, y'all just let us know, okay? Go on and invite us and everything. We'll come back <laughs> and see the, the new Harry Potter stuff, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We'll definitely pull back up. Yeah, y'all. Okay. So, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon, check out all of our unedited, uncut videos, behind the scenes footage, Patreon posts, and access to all of our TV series as well. And if y'all haven't already, head over to our new Extra Script podcast channel that'll be dropping very soon. Make sure y'all tap into that. The link is down in the description. Absolutely. And all of that said, hey. let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Let's get into it. Let's go. <laughs> Oh no, not that thing again. Oh yes. Slytherin. <laughs> <clears throat> Slytherin snake. Going through the graveyard. I hate when they make you hear things that you're really not hearing. <laughs> Sounds like outside for real. No. Oh. I don't see where that light coming from. Oh, whose house that is? <clears throat> oh. Oh no, no, no! I call Voldemort. I only meant Voldemort. No, the boy is everything. It cannot be done without him. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Nagini tells me the old caretaker is standing just outside the door. Mm. Step aside. Remember him? Father Kedavra. Hermione, bad dream. Wake up, Ronald. Bloody hell. <laughs> Look. Hey, Dad, where are we going? I'm the foggiest. Keep up. 
This strapping young lad must be Cedric, am I right? Sir, this way. Hmm. Shall we? Oh, yeah. We don't want to be late. Why are they all standing around that manky old boot? It's a port key. Time to go. What's a port key? Ready? Oh, a port key. Yeah. See, they know how to use the port key the proper way. Look, look at that. Welcome to the Quidditch World Cup. The what? I think it's like a big, a big sports event. Home to be told. What? Hold on, we all gotta go in the tent. How can you fit all of them in there? Oh no! Excellent. Wow. <laughs> Feet off the table. Feet off the table. <laughs> Feet off the table. Or they're twins. That's what you call some magic right there. Oh. No way. It's like the Super Bowl. <laughs> Seeker in the world. The 422nd Quidditch World Cup. The Quidditch. Wow. Talking about this is actually bigger than the Super Bowl. Way bigger. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one like Crum. Crum? He's an artist. I think you're in love, Ron. Sounds like the Irish have got their pride on. <laughs> Stop it! It's not the Irish. What happened? I don't know, but we need Something, to go. Something's coming. Harry running the wrong direction. They must have got caught off guard. Like, I don't think anybody knew that, that this was about to happen. Who were those people that was walking by that was setting everything on fire? I don't know. They need to find something else to do. <laughs> more, more. <laughs> Ron! <coughs> Harry! Come on, you all right? Was if you captured it? Crouch, you can't. You've been discovered at the scene of the crime. Marty, they're just kids. It's the dark mark, Harry. It's his mark. Death eaters. But he knows that Voldemort is alive and well. Wow. <laughs> the train. Two pumpkin pasties, please. Thank you. Harry got his eye on somebody. You know Sirius will want to hear about this. What you saw at the World Cup and the dream. <clears throat> That's a good question. Who who's behind it? Mm -hmm. Had to, it had to have been somebody that was at the world at the World Cup on the inside. But why, in, why would they have done that? It was an inside job. Like to stop the game? Yeah, like to sabotage it. Hogwarts has been chosen to host the Tri Wizard Tournament. It brings together three schools. Mm -hmm. From each school, a single student is selected to compete. These contests are not for the faint-hearted. Well, I don't want to play. Lovely ladies of the Bo Batten's Academy of Magic. They're gonna be a problem. It's gonna be hard for the for the boys to focus. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> look at it, look at it. I told you. <laughs> it's over, they won. That's one big one. Look how tall she is. <laughs> Yeah, she's big. <laughs> and now our friends from the north, the proud sons of Dumbstrang. Uh oh. Hmm. 
Oh, that's Crumb. Oh, I definitely don't want to play with the Crumb guy. Professor Dumbledore, my horses have traveled a long way. A gamekeeper, Hagrid, more than capable of seeing. Oh, Hagrid. Oh, look at his eye. Look at that eye. <laughs> Who are you looking at? <laughs> look at... <laughs> <laughs> A new meaning to I'm watching you. <laughs> What's that he's drinking, do you suppose? I don't know, but I don't think it's pumpkin juice. Anyone wishing to submit themselves to the tournament need only write their name upon a piece of parchment and throw it in the flame before this hour on Thursday night. Do not do so lightly. There's no turning back. The Tri Wizard Tournament has begun. Wow. I mean, it just sounds scary. I just, I'm, I'm not interested. So would you put your name in there? No. I'm putting my name in there. It's in the blue fire? Yeah. Blue, red, orange. <laughs> Asia, this is the Tri Wizard Tournament. Uh-uh, see? This ain't just no shabby tournament. Your new defense against the dark arts teacher. I'm here because Dumbledore asked me. End of story. Goodbye. The end. Look, look, look at that. That's his good eye, too. Which of you can tell me how many unforgivable curses there are? Three, sir. And they are so named? Because they are unforgivable. The use of any one of them will I'll earn you a one way ticket to Azkaban. Oh, little beauty. Oh. <laughs> Imperial. Oof. Oh! <laughs> Look at his eyes. Look how he looking. What did I ever do next? Jump out the window? Drown herself? Be like, no, no, no. Another, another. Long bottom, is it? This is a cruciatus. Correct, correct. Come, come. Crucio! Why do you gotta make it make noise? Stop it! Can't you see it's bothering him? Stop it! Now that was just mean. Only one person is known to have survived it, and he's sitting in this room. Is it Harry? It's always Harry. Come on now. It's always Harry. But who did he survive the curse from? Uh, Baltimore? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Come on, get, put your name in. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, the champion selection. The dub set champion is Victor Krupp. Yeah. The champion for Bow Battens is Fleur Delacour. Yeah. One more, right? Yeah. The Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory. Yeah! In the end, only one will go down in history. Only one will hoist the Triwizard Cup. Why I give him another one? Harry Potter. Oh, that's Harry's name. He, he didn't put his name in there? Come on, Harry. Did he put his name in there? I don't think he did. Huh. Potter! Harry, you put your name in a goblet of fire. Oh, no, sir. You're absolutely sure? Yes, sir. The rules are absolute. The goblet of fire constitutes a binding magical contract. Mr. Potter has no choice. He is, as of tonight, the chosen one. A tri wizard champion. Well, I don't want to play. So, you got to choose somebody yeah, else. But a champion, though. <laughs> Harry, like, I just go here. Because <laughs> the guy that, like, the fire changed colors and everything. Yeah. He didn't put his name in there, though. So I wonder if... What, if, what if kind I... of magic is that? 
Maybe the I'm watching you guy did it. I got my eye on you? Yeah. How did you do it? Never mind. Doesn't matter. I didn't ask for this to happen, Ron. I don't want eternal glory. <sighs> Piss off. Look, Ronald, he not feeling that. He feeling like Harry cheating or something. Because he not of age. Well, why would he... I'm Rita Skeeter. I write for the Daily Prophet. Rita Skeeter. <laughs> what quirks lurk beneath those rosy cheeks? Oh, you will not. You will not. No, you will not. <laughs> Should we start with the youngest? Lovely. Don't mind if I use a quick clothes quill, do you? Oh, no. Do you think it was the trauma of your past that made you so keen to enter such a dangerous tournament? Uh, no, I, I didn't enter. <gasps> She's trying to get to school. <clears throat> hey, my eyes aren't glistening with the ghost of my past. She said, I'm just putting words in your mouth, Harry. I'm just putting words in your mouth. So somebody probably put his name in there so that they could plan to kill him in the tournament. But how would they get it in there? It, it would have had, had to have been somebody that would qualify to be able to put it in there. Maybe Crumb. Ronald would like me to tell you that Seamus told him that... Dean was told by Pavati that Hagrid's looking for you. Well, what? Uh, um, I do that. Hagrid's looking for you. Well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl. I am not. I am not the messenger. See, oh, Ron, look, see, Ronald must be really mad at Harry. He didn't even want to talk to him. Hagrid, where are we going? It looks like he's said enough. The cloak. Put the cloak on. I heard dinosaurs or something. What? Is it? Oh, dragon! You're joking. These are Look. seriously misunderstood creatures. Hey, just stop saying Dracotis. Could I have a word? You stink, Potter. <laughs> Dragons. That's the first task. He's serious. Serious as a heart attack. Hey. Is there Hermione? Harry, the key is to concentrate. After that, you just have to battle and drag me. <laughs> Young love. <gasps> there she go again. Good day, champions. Gather round, please. Four dragons, each of which has been given a golden egg to protect. Your objective is simple. Collect the egg, for each egg contains a clue. Good luck, champions. The sound of the cannon you need. Does that mean go? That means you better get ready. It's not going to be that easy to get that golden egg. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he probably got one of the most dangerous. His dragon is probably the most dangerous. That's definitely the dead. How he get the worst one? <laughs> See? Uh oh. That's not fair. They they using the dragons from Game of Thrones. Dang. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! It's uh -oh. on fire! It's on fire! <laughs> I have the power! I think that's one of Harry's like strong suit. Is that broom? Who wants me to open it? Was that? I reckon you have to be barking mad to put your own name in the goblet of fire. Come on, have you? At least I warned you about the dragons. 
Hagrid warned me about the Drachners. No, I don't remember. I told Hermione to tell you that Seamus told me that Bavardi told Dean that Hagrid was looking for you. I thought we'd be all right after you figured that out. Who, who could possibly figure that out? It's completely mental. <laughs> Hi, Harry. <laughs> Another set of twins or sisters? <laughs> Sister twins. <laughs> <clears throat> Look at this. Miss Granger, a plain but ambitious girl, seems to be developing a taste for famous wizards. Look. <laughs> also famous, Mr. Weasley. Oh. I'm sent me a dress. Aha. <laughs> Look. Nose down, Harry. <laughs> Dress robes. Dress robes? For what? The Yule Ball has been a tradition of the Triwizard Tournament since its inception. Mr. Weasley, will you join me, please? Place your right hand on my waist. Where? Well, on your waist. arm. Yeah. And extend your arm. One, two, three. One, two, three. On your feet. What? Look, look out. That's so typical of like boys. Oh, the boys, dude. right. <laughs> Why do they have to travel in packs? He said they travel in packs. Oh, yeah. Look, now, look. He got them all flocking behind him, though. Crumb. Look how she looking, though. At this rate, you'll be the only one to argue without dames. Oh. Focus on your work. Where am I? Oh, girl. They're well spotted. Come with my eyes. Come. Believe it or not, someone's asked me. I don't think anybody's asked her yet. She's lying, right? If you say so. Look. Tonight, when we get back to the common room, both have partners. Agreed. Agreed. Oh. oh. Y'all need to read. <laughs> what if they can do that in school for real? <laughs> just put just muff you in the back of your head. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think I don't think Harmony has a has a date. Just I yet. don't think either. I think she she likes that crumb boy. <laughs> Come on, Harry. Joe. There you go. There you go. Yes. Um. Just. Wondering if maybe you wanted to go to the ball with me. Oh. Harry, I'm, someone's already asked me. I've, I've said I'll go. Okay. Yeah. Great. No problem. Okay. Good. She don't look happy. Why she look like that, though? Maybe maybe she wanted Harry to ask her first. Hi, Harry. Behind. Hey. Uh oh. The grand ball. Harry might be going to the ball with twins. He really put it on. It has pink on it. It's horrendous. <laughs> well, I expect yours are more traditional. Traditional? They're ancient. <laughs> I don't know, my great aunt Tessie. <laughs> <laughs> Look. I smell like my great aunt Tessie. Look, it ain't even been to the laundry. That's nasty. And ain't even been to the cleaners in what, probably about a hundred years. Leave it alone. <laughs> yeah. Hello, boys. Don't you look dashing? Come along. Come along this way. Hey, like he is not presentable to this ball. No, I need you all to line up in the procession, please. Oh, look who she's with. I see. Square. <laughs> see. She looks beautiful. Yeah, she does. Look, he ain't even paying attention. He is not paying attention. Oh, look at her money! Oh my gosh! See? Oh! Boo! She like, she like, <laughs> him. Oh, look at that! It's snowing inside. Look how big 
big his feet are. <laughs> Pumpkin head in the <laughs> They getting down. He's so jealous. But look at their dates. Now I have your uh, arm, leg. Oh, uh, how are you just gonna get your date took? <laughs> Victor's gone to go and get drinks. She cares to join us. No, would not care to join you and Victor. <laughs> He's salty, isn't he? He is. You're fraternizing with the enemy. The enemy? Who was it wanting his autograph? Ooh. He used I a big he's word. Got a bit more than friendship on his mind. Fraternizing. Are you going to ask me to dance or not? No. <sighs> they both lost their dates. Like that. He's using you. How dare you! He's way too old. What? You know the solution then, don't you? Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. Well, that's just completely off the point, Harry. Where have you been? Never mind, off to bed, both of you. Oh, okay. They get scary when they get older. Ron, you spoiled everything! <laughs> so, does she want to go with Ronald or, or Harry? Probably Ronald. Look, 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 look. <laughs> I think Ronald, cause Ronald's mad that she that, that she went with Crumb. Yeah. But he can't blame anybody because he didn't ask her. He did it, Cedric. How how are you? Spectacular. I never really thanked you properly for tipping me off about those dragons. You know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor. It's not a bad place for a bath. Just take your egg and mull things over in the hot water. Come see cause where I Wow You'll have to look to recover what we took There's the clue right there Come seek us where our voices sound The black lake that's obvious An hour long you'll have to look potentially problematic When's the last time you held your breath underwater for an hour I hate to break up the skull session. Presumably Potter is well prepared by now and could do with a good night's sleep. See, I think it got something to do with him. You think so? I just do. Well, you can always use Gillyweed. You're sure about this, Neville? Absolutely. For an hour. Most likely. Something was stolen from each of our champions. These four treasures now lie on the bottom of the Black Lake. Oh. They will have but one hour to do so. After that, they'll be on their own. You meant again at the sound of the cannon. On your mark, get set, ready, and go. Is it working? Is he growing gills? He is. And look at his feet now. <laughs> He's like an amphibian. I don't know. I can't see him. Oh, my God. I've killed Harry Potter. <laughs> but they don't know what they're looking for? It's at the bottom of, of, of the lake somewhere. Oh, the are mermaids. Who is... Whoa. He said no. Oh, Jaws. No way. Is that Crumb? Oh, it is. That's why he got Harmony. Ten minutes. <clears throat> Look, now they getting worried. Cause the other girl's still down there. Somebody snatched her up. <laughs> look, look, he's trying to bring them both up at the. I don't think he's gonna be able to do it. Oh. 
where these little fish demons come from? Like little, and it's a lot of them too. Look like. Oh my. I'll never eat calamari again. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> you saved her even though she wasn't yours to save. My little sister. You helped. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Merci. Congratulations, Potter. Fine achievement. Well done, boy. Look at him looking with the eye. Not trying to lure Potter into one of the Ministry's summer internships, are we? Last boy who went into the Department of Mysteries never came out. He ain't like he knows something that he. And they say I'm mad. Hmm. See, I'm wondering what that's supposed to mean. Wait a minute. R remember that hat. That's the hat that the guy just had on. That he was talking to. Huh? I don't think Mr. Crouch is alive. A man has died here, Fudge. Mm. You must take that. I will not. The training for tournament will not be cancelled. Oh, Harry. Harry, how good to see you again. Mm. I can come back later, Professor. Oh, not necessarily, Harry. I'll be back in a moment. Minister, off to you. <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. Professor? Professor. <clears throat> Is this going back in time or what? I don't know, but it's like he's not there. What about Snape? As a counselor, is very much aware that Severus Snape was indeed a Death Eater. Prior to Lord Voldemort's downfall, turned spy for us at great personal <laughs> risk. <laughs> Unless the witness possesses any genuine name, this session is now concluded. Heard about one more. I know for a fact this person took part in the capture and torture of the horror Frank Longbottom and his wife, Name. Marty Crouch. 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 Junior. Uh oh. Oh, they're gonna take him off. They're about to take him away. Hello, father. You are no son of mine. That's his son. They always get me with the lip lick thing. <laughs> It's a pensive. It allows me to see once more things I've already seen. I've searched and searched for something that would explain why these terrible things have happened. Every time I get close to an answer, it slips away. It's a sign, Severus. You know what it means as well as I. Potter! Congratulations, your performance in the Black Lake was inspiring. Gillyweed, am I correct? Yes, sir. A rather rare herb. Gillyweed, should you ever steal from my personal stores again? I haven't stolen anything. Don't lie to me. Boom slang skin. Mm. You and your little friends are brewing polyjuice potion, and believe me, I'm going to find out why. Dan slammed the door in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Moody placed the Tri Wizard Cup deep within the maze. On the count of three. One. <laughs> Go! <laughs> See this challenge, you gotta be built on the right stuff with this one right here. <laughs> it's closing up. You're on your own. Yeah, I I quit. <laughs> you can't quit before it even what? starts. No, I don't I'm not about to play this. <laughs> Look how big the maze is though. It's like a big valley. Forget it. Yeah, it's a little dark and a little foggy. I'm I don't like, know. <laughs> I don't know. I first don't thing know. first is find somebody to compete with and follow each other. <laughs> See, I thought I just saw something behind him. Oh. Shoot! I guess that answers my question if the maze can, can come alive and change on his own.
Oh no. I feel like this is a setup. It's just closing in. Yeah. Oh god! Go, Harry! Run! Oh! Go! No! Harry, don't do it! Don't do it! He's just going to be sucked into the tree! He better be lucky. He was about to be root food. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. So what does that mean? Where are we? I thought I thought once they got the cup, it yeah. was gonna be over. Yeah, but they trusted at the same time. It's a port key. Harry, the cup is a port key. Oh. Cedric, we have to get back to the cup. What are you talking about? What it means we gotta get the hell out of here. Ah! No! Look, it's Valdemar. Now why? What do you want? There's the end of Cedric. And look, the same. Here he go again. Do it now. Oh my gosh. He looked like a he looked like a little alien baby. <laughs> Unwillingly given. Oh, the riddles. Flesh servant. Willingly sacrificed. <laughs> The enemy forcibly <laughs> taken. Say, man. The Dark Lord shall rise. Oh, he about to come out as a whole person. Watch. Uh oh. Uh oh. This can't be good. How he breathing in with no nostrils? <laughs> he just got holes in his face. Wasn't that the rat? Him, yep. What? Oh, this is all bad. Who are they, like wizards from the past or I what? I don't know, but Harry about to die. <laughs> Not one of you tried to find me. Crap! <laughs> Lucius. Oh, that's what's his face. Oh. Don't touch him! The boy who lived. Shall I reveal what really happened that night 13 years ago? Mm. You see, when dear sweet Lily Potter gave her life, she provided the ultimate protection. I could not touch him. Things have changed. Mm. I can touch you now. Oh! 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 oh, did you see his tongue? Yeah. I kick him in the kneecap. <laughs> Pick up your one, Papa. You've been taught how to duel, I presume, yes? Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Harry losing. This might prove who's going to be stronger. No, babe, no. Look. What's happening? Is that Harry's mom? I couldn't see. Harry, when the connection is broken, you must get to the port key. I think that's his father. Harry, take my body back, will you? Take my body back to my father. Sweetheart, you're ready. Run for your life! Oh, he got away. Yeah! Wait. Wait a minute. No! He's back. Voldemort's back. Let me through! Aww. This is my boy! 
my boy! Easy. Easy. I got you. I feel like he was set up to, 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 like, that's why he was put in it. To go through that? Yeah. Was it by him? Because why did he go there when he touched the port key? Yeah, right. What was it like? What was he like? Who? The Dark Lord. See, he crazy. Nope. No. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh, maybe he been drinking that so he could stay in form. Were there others? I don't think you see anything yet. The graveyard, were there others? I don't think I said anything about a graveyard, Professor. Wait. It was you from the beginning. You put my name in the Goblet of Fire. But you... <laughs> 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 oh! Are you Alistair Moody? Are you? No. Is he in this room? Uh-uh. You all right, Alistair? I'm sorry, Alistair. Polyjuice person. Now we know who's been seeding from your store, Severus. Oh, so that's not really him. Who is that? <laughs> Don't tell me it's what's a it's what's a face. The guy that used to be the rat. Oh, it's Junior. It is him. Oh <gasps> wow. Barty Crouch Jr. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> He's back. Give it to him. Right. <laughs> he got right up to his cheek. The wands are dangerous. Cedric Diggory was, as you all know, exceptionally hardworking, infinitely fair-minded. Cedric Diggory was murdered by Lord Voldemort. The Ministry of Magic does not wish me to tell you this, but not to do so, I think, would be an insult to his memory. While we may come from different places, our hearts beat as one. Remember that. And Cedric Diggory will not have died in vain. It's like they're all going, they're leaving again. This is the dream. Yeah, the tournament is over. Right to me. Aww. They exchanged phone numbers. <laughs> Think we'll ever just have a quiet year at Hogwarts. <laughs> no. Oh well, what's life without a few dragons? I promise you'll write this summer. Well, I won't. You know I won't. <laughs> yeah, every week. <laughs> oh wow. Man, I wish I could get around like that. <laughs> and off they go. Is that it? There's no credits? Well, not the credits, but like any after credits? I guess not. <laughs> okay. I was just double checking just to make sure. Make sure there wasn't nothing like extra added on to the end or anything. I like, like how they put the magic in like these movies, though. I feel like, like Harry Potter had to have changed the game with like how you see the movies and how they make the magic and stuff like that. Like how much is incorporated into like their movies. That you know that we watch, especially like with the wand and uh, you know how they being that they're human people and they still can pull off all these like, like theatrical like, type of tricks, like and all stuff. the all the wizardry too. Yeah, because I feel like like you know you would see a lot of that in like your younger kid movies, but it would be cartoons and stuff. You know what I mean? Like especially when it comes to like magic and stuff like that, but. The way, like, Harry, the Harry Potter series so far, it just seems like it's just defined and, like, believing in the magic of Harry Potter. Like, you know, everything that it entails. And I feel like we felt that even while we were there. You know, they wanted you to kind they of... They definitely, like, help really, like, captivate, like, the feeling. Really bring it to life. Like, it's almost like, say, like, saying. you literally sit there and wonder, like, how the heck are they doing that? <laughs> Like even when you see it in person, you know. Yeah, like, and, and you actually do get that get that that nostalgic feeling when you just yeah. walk into the park. Even when you go through like the Harry Potter, right. like, you feel like 
the magic of Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. And like you said, they pull it off in, in every movie that we've watched. This yes. was the first time that we've seen Voldemort like in physical yeah. form. Yeah. You we know finally get to see him and he's as ugly as he sounds. Yeah, he yeah, he look <laughs> he look ugly, y'all. <laughs> he is ugly. He is ugly. I didn't know what he was. Yeah. Well we so never seen with. him. It just sounds like he he would we've look seen, like an ugly person and we've then seen we him see in, him. We've seen him in one, but he actually looked like a human then. Now yeah. he's he just looks like No, he's really now he just looks like a like a serpent <laughs> sorcerer, basically, <laughs> in a nutshell. Yeah. But I but but I, I don't know. I think Goblet of Fire, I feel like this one was really, really good just for the simple fact that they incorporated more characters. They brought more, you know, like different students from other schools, like for all of them to compete for this yeah. trophy. And and I think I think that helped towards like the aesthetic of the actual movie. I think it was a dangerous game. Like whoever came up with that idea to have this little tournament, they need they mm-hmm. need to find something else to do. And why? they and they said that, you know, that there was a possibility you could die in it. That's right. why that's why if you could, if you was going to put your name in it, you had to know that you was going to be risking your life. So I felt like it was a big deal. But how did they choose? Did he ever say like no. maybe I missed that part like it was on, like when he stood there and the and the names came out the the little cup or right. whatever. Right. How did the cup choose? Like, and how did it know? Because obviously that thing, that guy put, that thing, that guy put Harry's name in mm-hmm. it. But how did it choose whose name was going to be put? That's the out Goblet of, of Fire. That's the burning question. When you put your name, you cast your ballot into the Goblet of Fire. Well, why would they leave that to the Goblet of Fire? There would be no Goblet of Fire if the Goblet of Fire wasn't the one to make the decision to say who's going to be in the tournament. Well, they need to make a different goblet. But but, but what I'm saying is that <laughs> this particular tournament, if you're going to put your name in it, obviously you have to be a certain age. But if you're going to put your name in it, that was going to be like a test of your character because, you know, whatever challenges were ahead, your life was potentially on the line. So that's why I feel like obviously it was a really big deal. For somebody to put their name in it, yeah. and then to be chosen yeah. as one of the ones to compete in it, so you know, I, I feel like obviously it was like a like, like a stand of courage, and and also like adulthood, you know, to, to make that decision because obviously you have to be a certain age, right? And then it, it's also like testing like your internal fortitude, self confidence, like like all of, like all of those things. You well, know what I mean? I feel like I would have forfeited. Okay, like what we know you to, you to forfeit it. <laughs> Because what happens if the thing picks me and then I don't want to play no more? Like you got to pick somebody else. Well, like, well, you wouldn't put your name in it. But that's what I'm saying. Harry's name was put in it. So, so how could he not had? But he didn't put his name in it. The other guy casted a spell, I believe, to put his name in it. Because Carrie didn't put his name in there, he wouldn't have been able to. It had it had like a little force field around it. So if you wasn't a certain age, it wasn't going to even allow you to put it in there. So that was already like a mystery. That's it's, not fair. How did Harry's name? end up in the goblet of fire. I feel like I got a pizza here. You know? Oh my nose. Is there hair on my nose? Uh I can't see. I can't tell. Let me see. <laughs> hey. Let me see. I just feel it. I don't see anything. You don't see nothing? Uh-uh. Okay. Uh-uh. I don't see anything. Don't look. But <laughs> but again, like I said, this is the first time I actually seeing Baltimore in actual like physical form. Yeah. Because we've always just heard about him and we knew that Harry had to do his best to stay away from him. Yeah. So for him to actually like almost have pretty much have a hold on Harry well, how and Harry get Harry, out of it, you know? The other part of that too I was going to say was like how Harry was actually able to see and have these dreams. Remember like at the very beginning, yeah. it was like he was having a dream and then and then he almost had that same, like it was the same dream kind of like towards the end though. So I'm like, how was he having those dreams? Like was that something, how was he? Why was he having those dreams? Like those visions? Maybe it was something coming from his parents because that was like 13 years ago. Right. So that might have been just like a vision. Hey, they, I, I, like I don't somebody, know. He a wizard. He a wizard. It was know. almost like somebody was showing him something that was going to happen, but he didn't know like why he was seeing it because when he woke up, he was sweating, obviously, mm-hmm. because he was scared. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out like was somebody sending him and maybe it was like his parents then. Like they were sending it to him as like a warning, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Kind of get get that little breakdown because he did say that that was like 13 years ago. 
as far as the vision and the dream that yeah. he was seeing so, was 13 years ago. And then for it to be Crouch Jr., for him to, like, change and transform and for him to be behind the whole thing, mm-hmm. like, speaks volumes, too. So it, it actually does affirm what he was seeing in the dream. Yeah. You know what I mean? My favorite part of the movie, as far as, like, you know, like, the challenges that they had to go through, my favorite one was, like, was the water. When they had to go into the lake, Blackwater Lake, and next had to go down and, you know, set somebody free and rescue them. Yeah. I think for me, that was like my favorite challenge right there. Had to be that or the quiddle ball. Like, I like the quiddle ball a lot. Yeah, probably the quiddle ball with the dragon. Yeah. When he had to get the dragon. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wouldn't play none of those games. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, w- I wish we'd have been able to see them actually play quiddle ball in this one. But I, I feel like they spoiled it for me at the very beginning when they like Had the shut whole down. Big, yeah. When they shut down the World Cup and everything, yeah. I thought that we were about to see something like <laughs> the World that Cup. was like Super Bowl epic proportion or something, and they just shut it down really, the, really. Quick. The World Quidditch game. Yeah, that's what it was. You said the, the World Cup. I said I, I think I said quittable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it was called the World Cup. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I wish we'd have been able to see that because I think that's like one of the coolest parts of oh, Harry, like Potter Harry Potter is them playing quittable. But wait, are you the sneaker? Are you the the catcher? Yeah. Or are you the I don't know. The seeker? The seeker. I'm gonna say I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say um the seeker. And I'm gonna call everybody else a sleeper cuz they going to always sleep on me. <laughs> they going to always think that I'm the weak link. I don't know, yeah. And I, I and I'm gonna always reign supreme. Okay. But we got to give a big shout out to Harry Potter on this <laughs> one right here because we really seen him come of age over like these last four movies and for yeah. and again for him to overcome his fears and for him to really like rise to the occasion every single time. Yeah he did. That he speaks did. a lot about Harry Potter. And I think like Ronald Loki has a like has a crush on Hermione. I'm just saying. For Loki, Ronald? Yeah. He, I, I mean they are coming of age. They are getting older. Yeah. They're no longer kids. So yeah. it's like they like real teenagers now. Oh yeah, absolutely. But it was really cute to see them like they're starting to grow up, y'all. Yeah. So to see them kind of mingle and, yeah. and be at the dance and kind of going through like stuff that teenagers you see would go how through. They all got wondering <laughs> eyes though. Like they all had their eyes on somebody. I'm just saying. So I don't know. This was this was actually really good too, y'all. But y'all yeah. tap in and let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section. And if y'all enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, smash notification bell so you don't miss any videos. From Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video. Y'all. Heck yeah. Shout out to everybody in the building. Y'all take it easy. Wait, should we watch the next one? You want to watch the next one? Y'all, y'all got to tell us that we need to watch the Oh, next yeah. And let us know what's the next Harry Potter movie. I didn't even look to see exactly what it was. Yeah, it was. Oh, uh, it's Aunt Harry the, Potter and the Order, Order of, of the, the Phoenix. Phoenix. Okay. So that's the fifth installment. So y'all tap in with us and let us know. Yeah. Okay. We're out of here. If ain't nobody else told y'all, I love y'all. Bye. Salute.